What is up, So Real Gang? How are we doing today? Yesterday, after Nuni posted her last Q&A of 2023, Karina took to Instagram and stated she needs to keep her name out of her mouth before she wants to fight again. Karina did go off because in Nuni's video, she stated that Karina reached out to her. And she, I went, in my head, honestly, I went beefing with nobody. Like, I didn't see her before in person. So it was like, I didn't think we was beefing for her. We get into altercation anytime before that one. Um, no, but she did hit me up on Instagram. She DM me after um them videos and shit that was like leaked of I guess Flo being in my house, but we wasn't sneaking, like I don't gotta sneak. It was like, you know what I'm saying? After that she DM me and shit, then after that she blocked me. And ever, ever since then I've been blocked. Like I, only thing I don't appreciate like I would say this though, like this is the time we're gonna talk. Only thing I don't appreciate is her acting like it wasn't over flow because let's be real, it was all over flow. It wasn't about no girl code shit. It wasn't ever about no girl code shit. Like, I'm not even close enough with you for it to be no girl code shit. Like, it only operate like that, especially if this my ex. Like, that's not how girl code works. Like, then, what I wanted to say is like, Crystal was there doing that phone call, that two hour phone call. Crystal was there the whole time, know me, like, for real. Crystal really know me, like, like, Crystal know me. She know that whole combo. I ain't. Like, I ain't try to be stiff or mean. I ain't try to be buddy-buddy or your friend. I was just talking. Like, she know I'm a confrontational person. I'm a Virgo. Like, anybody that know Virgos are calm people. We calm, collective, and very confrontational. Like, I don't want to threaten nobody, and I ain't trying to intimidate nobody. I'm chilling. Like, this ain't, I don't have to do all of that. Like, you call me. So, it is what it is. If you not amped up, what well, I'm going to be amped up for, like. I guess I really don't care to make no 20-minute YouTube video talking about no bitch. Don't speak on me, I don't speak on you. You can't find one YouTube video where I said the whole name. Bitch, don't speak on my name. And they gonna get on here and lie and make something like I was trying to be cool with you. Bitch, don't you ever in your motherfucking life flatter yourself like that. I don't give a fuck to be cool with your dumb, dissy ass. Stop playing with me. For real. And I don't give a fuck if you saying you don't want beef and that. Stop speaking to me, I don't like you. Leave me the fuck alone, for real. Hitting you up on that rah-rah shit. Stop playing with me. You know I was getting on your motherfucking ass before we ever got on the phone. Your ass was copping a plea, bitch. Don't ever make it seem like I called you to vent. Bitch, I would never. And the only reason why I ever hit you up is because you tried to make that little ass post, bitch, and I got on your ass. Be fucking for real. Only reason why we ever started talking is because your ass was copying the plea on the motherfucking phone trying to be cool with me, bitch. And I got the messages. And if you keep playing with me, I'm going to want to fight you again. So if I was you, I would just shut the fuck up, okay? Infinity dropped an influencers, to be honest, with Maya on her channel, where Maya stated she has no beef with Crystal, but her and Crystal fell out after Crystal and Jazz broke up. And Crystal felt as if she picked India over her. Maya's response was that Ma India and her have been best friends for years. And she's always going to side with her best friend. Mm, I really never, I mean, I guess it's perfect time to say something since uh, maybe you don't make me to say something. Or I guess you don't make me to say something. I really never cared to like speak on the situation. Because I just felt like... Um, and I'm not gonna sit here and lie. Like when people come to my DM and say certain stuff, or like Chris said this, Chris said that. Okay, I'm just gonna check it out and see what's going on. And I seen that you had said something like, uh, "If we were friends, then you felt like I should have called you to clarify some things and stuff like that." And honestly, I feel the same way. The same way I have your number, you have my number too. If you want to know anything, I'm always gonna call away. Um, it ain't no issue. And not just for you, just for our supporters and everybody who, all the trolls, everybody who we want to be in the business stuff. I can't control nothing that two grown ass people do. Um, although, India is my best friend. It's like that everybody should understand. India's been my best friend for 10 plus years since it was itty bitty, like knee high. And it's like right around whatever she want to do, I'm 110 percent behind it. And it's just what it is, it's like, you know. But I just want everybody to know I can't control nothing that anybody has going on. Anything that anybody has going on or has going on is not my business. You really can't control what other people's intentions are. Like, mm -hmm. your problem should be with that person, not with mm -hmm. her. And if you feel as though she should have came back and told you anything of any sort, then that's something you should have contacted her about. Mm -hmm. And if you now, I know this is not the answers a lot of you guys are looking for, but that just confirms that Jazz and India are actually dealing with each other.
Not sure how it all started, but maybe Crystal believes that they were messing around or wanted to mess around while her and Jazz were actually in the relationship. Honestly, I understand where both of these ladies are coming from. As far as Maya, I get it. I can't cock block my best friend. You know what I mean? I think that's messed up. And then you can't tell one of your best friends that they can't talk to somebody that they probably already wanted to talk to. Now let's get into Jay Long. Jay Long has dropped an addressing rumors video where he addressed the allegations that Nooney has presented against him and Jazz. Even though Nooney stated that she is not upset with them and she has no problem being cordial with them, he still responded and stated that the allegations are lies. He stated that him and Jazz may have had their gun on their hips, but he did not point a gun in Nooney's face. What'd he do? We back with something I hate doing, bro. It's like, fuck it. Out of all people, out of all people, man. But hey, man, y'all seen that? Y'all seen the title, man? Y'all seen the title? I'm trying to address some stuff, man, because coming up into this new year, I'm not dealing with none of this. I'm not dealing with none of this, especially old stuff and lies, and specifically old stuff and lies, man. But first off, how y'all doing, man? If y'all don't know who I am, cause I don't, not, I hate to even name names, but hell, Nooney and Flo was dealing to, dealing with each other. Hell, Nooney wouldn't be around if Flo wasn't dealing with her. So I hate to say it, but hell, like I said, a bad apple of the bunch is gone, which was which is flow. Up love, love gang to death. Still love them. Like it's hey, y'all think it's smoke, y'all think it's beef. It ain't nothing. Cause I'm in my own bubble and I stay in my own lane. Y'all I did insert some clips in here for you guys. Make sure if you guys want to watch the full video, you head over to Jay Long's channel and check it out over there. Honestly guys, violence, abuse like hate, things like that, I, I can't get with. It's happened so long ago that I, I can't even, I can't even really rem remember. Like I literally have to go to my calendar and scroll down and see what the fuck was, what the fuck was what. But long story short, I heard she said something about um, people was drunk, they came home arguing this and this. Yes, that's, that's what happened. But if y'all know me, I don't go outside much. So that night I was actually at home. I was not outside. I was not out and about. I was at home chilling in at the old house in my room. People came in loud and everything. I'm thinking people just arguing and stuff. Hey, I'm starting to hear things that really ain't supposed to, you know, I'm not saying things that ain't supposed to be said, but hell, an argument. You know, an argument, people start saying stuff personal. For, for whatever reason, people were arguing. That, that, I don't know. Literally, to this day, I don't know what the fuck people were arguing about. Dead ass. But I came out to jazz, arguing with people. And, and first off, if I if I have guests in my house, I refuse for a guest to be arguing back with me. And if I say get out, get out. So as I came outside, I just heard Jazz saying, "Get out, y'all! Everybody get out of my house! Y'all get out of my house! Y'all are guests." You know what I'm saying? I guess Jazz and Crystal was arguing at that time or some whatever it may be. Uh, I don't know. I think Jazz said something to them on the couch about get out. But bro, they refused to get out the crib. Like, and I'm just sitting there like, bro, y'all just leave. If Jazz say leave, y'all just leave. Like literally. Long story short, things kind of escalated. And Jazz felt threatened in our own house. The fuck, as it was said, I guess a gun was, a, <laughs> no gun was pulled, no gun was drawn, but a gun was tucked, in a in 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 means of saying like, get out of my house, standing on business. Like, come on now, let let's be real. It seems as if Jay Long couldn't even remember everything that took place that night. He stated that Nooney was dropping the location to the house and that is what pissed him off he stated that he said to nooney drop the addy and watch what happens now guys i don't know if it was in that incident he pointed the gun at nooney's face or had the gun in nooney's face things escalated it's a bunch of stuff going on i guess Flo and nooney start arguing i don't i can't remember and i'm not finna lie so i'm not even finna say much because i don't that's not that's not me. But I, I know damn well for sure. My energy kicked up and turned up because I heard a location was dropped to the house. I heard a location was dropped to the house because of all the argument that was going on, Nooney, Nooney, I guess she was finna drop the location or she no, she did drop the location. She dropped the location to the crib. And anybody like me, nigga, I'm I'm on 10, bro. I'm not finna sit here and let none of that happen. Like what? I 
I don't know Nooney, but I've heard of her background. She had two exes that passed away because of violence. What the fuck? I'm gonna sit here and let anything slide. Of that avenue, of that caliber, y'all not dropping no Addies. No, this is not what's happening. None of that. So once I heard that, Flo came in the house and said, oh shit, she dropped the Addy. I grabbed my, of course, I grabbed my gun. I'm like, hold on, hold on. Who dropped what Addy? Oh, Nooney dropped, Nooney dropped the Addy or something. Saying somebody gonna pull up, do something or something, whatever. Man, I'm not gonna lie. I got scared. The hell? Y'all niggas dropping Addies? I laid my head here. Y'all knew I was the first room at, at the door. It, it, when you walk in the door. Remember what Jay Long said? His room is the first room in the old house. So if that Addy was actually dropped and anyone would have pulled up, he would have been the first one in danger. So we all know that is going to piss anyone off. Another reason why I was confused on why Nuni was okay with being their friend is because of everything that she has been through. She also have had two exes pass away by gun violence. Shit. We all have been in a situation with gun violence. I have had friends died by their friends just pointing guns in their face accidentally. You know what I mean? And them people are not here no more. That is why I do not condone violence or bullying. I'm not sure if Jazz is going to drop a video and speak on these allegations. She did drop a tweet and stated, I ain't explaining ish to nobody. Think what you want and feel how you want to feel. I'm not sure what she's talking about. It can be a response to Nooney or it can even be a response to all of the trolls right now. Maya did also drop a video informing everyone that India and Jazz was dealing with each other after her and Crystal broke up. Maybe she's speaking about that. Crystal did say she's going to drop a video and, and clear everything up. I'm sure she will be speaking about all of these allegations.